What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule, back with already the 10th volume of the CTC Lightning Round, where every Friday we take a look at eight new products. This week we've got Double Bubble Banana Split and Summer Splash Gumballs, Laffy Taffy Tropical Fruits, which is pineapple and guava. We got three different flavors of Del Monte bubble fruit, sour apple watermelon, peach strawberry lemonade, pear berry pomegranate. We got Lucky Charms treats with more unicorns and uh, Haribo watermelon gummies. Now the way this works is in a minute, Ryan and I are gonna be turning off the cameras and trying all eight products. When we come back, we're gonna rank them from worst to first in terms of their taste in a capsule countdown. And then we're gonna be assigning a gimmick grade to all eight of these products so you can figure out what we think's interesting. Um, so anyway, we're gonna turn off the camera and try everything out and uh, stay tuned. And we're back. Ryan and I just tried all eight of these products and last place in today's capsule countdown, eighth place goes to the last remnants of summer products. That is the Summer Splash Double Bubble. That's a combination of limeade and pink lemonade gumballs. I got these for a dollar at Dollar Tree and they weren't even worth that. <laughs> they do look kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. And look, the idea of limeade and pink lemonade gumballs is a summertime gum thing is okay. So, I mean, I'll give it a, a 4 out of 10. But the taste is absolutely atrocious. It is extremely sweet. There's nothing really tart about it. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing that says lemon or lime about it. There's nothing citrusy. It's just straight sugar and not even, like, distinctive flavors. Like, there's no way you could properly identify lime or lemon or strawberry or anything. Because pink lemonade is strawberry lemonade, right? I, mean, I don't know. I think it is. Yeah. Let's assume it is. It, regardless, it, it doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 and 8th place, last place on today's Capsule Countdown. Um, so let's move on to other stuff. Goodbye, Summer. Goodbye, Summer. We're over it. Uh, try to realign these here. Man, those bags are tough to deal with. All right, so on this one, we've got a little display piece. So this is the Sour Apple Watermelon Bubble Fruit from Del Monte. Now, Bubble Fruit is part Del Monte Fruit Cup and part Popping Boba. Mm -hmm. So these are just little balls that just pop that easy. See that? Yeah. Look at that. Oop, now I'm slippery. There we go. It just kind of pops into like some goo. Kind of fun. It's actually super fun. Good for kids. It's definitely going to be something that's going to be a hit with kids. I, uh, you know, I, I don't even know if I've ever had popping boba anything like this though. Yeah, no. I don't know, but here's what the package looks like. I think it's actually a pretty well designed fruit. I mean, basically. You know, they added, they added popping boba, and I think that they did a pretty decent job. The problem is the, the apples just get absolutely decimated by that sweet juice that they use, and they're just soggy and disgusting. So while it's fun accidentally popping boba in your mouth the whole time, it just tastes terrible. Um, and that's a bummer. You know, it's a real bummer. So, but there are other flavors of bubble fruit, so if you do still want to try it, this just isn't the place to start. Um, the gimmick, though, I mean, you really can't argue with the gimmick. I'm going to give the gimmick an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, for sure. And that goes for all three of them. But uh, for the flavor, I'm going to give the sour apple watermelon bubble fruit flavor 7th place on today's Caps Countdown. And... Um, what do you think, Ryan? Three and a half out of ten? Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, we'll do three and a half. So, seven place. There are better. So, this one is mildly better. I didn't remove the boba because now you know what it looks like. But this is one of the bubble fruit brethren there. 
It is, whoop, peach strawberry, uh, what is it? Peach strawberry lemonade. Or peach pink lemonade, according to a uh, projection I made earlier. Mm. Here's what it looks like in the package. And as you guys know, that means that the pear berry pomegranate is gonna be the champion here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in its spot out of the three. Mm -hmm. But um, peaches hold up to the juice a little bit better. I'd say that the strawberry lemonade thing didn't really come through. Did you really taste lemonade in this no, at all? No, I forgot about that. Or even one. strawberries? I don't know. Peaches I just tasted peaches things. and little things that exploded in my mouth. So, um, you know, the 8 out of 10 gimmick rate still stands. But for the... Um, eh, for the flavor, I don't know. I guess like a four out of ten. Yeah. I mean, it's really nothing special. By the way, these are uh, three for six dollars at Target, so two dollars a piece. Uh, I think you need to buy all three. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but hey, about two dollars a piece. Really, not too bad. That's a good Take deal. a flyer. Yeah. yeah. Especially right. if you can get just the pomegranate one. Oh heck yeah. All right, so that leads us to fifth place on today's Capsule Countdown. And don't let the lack of colorful variety fool you. It's banana split gumballs. And they did have two of the vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, and banana gumballs in there. But then the leftover gumballs were pretty much all chocolate. <laughs> you can see one strawberry, one vanilla, two chocolate, and there's a couple more still hiding in the package. But uh, yeah, so this is probably the last Double Bubble product we'll be covering for a while, but it really wasn't too bad. I had all four flavors at once, <laughs> and the chocolate tastes like Tootsie Roll. Uh, the banana was, you know, fairly solid. Uh, strawberry, maybe a little bit like a strawberry Starburst, but not quite as good, and I could not taste the vanilla literally at all. Just could not taste it at all. Um, that's when I had all four. You individual. had them individually. Did you taste vanilla? Vanilla, not really much of a taste, but the strawberry was the best. Yeah, strawberry, you could tell, was uh, was a really strong thing. And, I, you know, I like Tootsie Rolls, so I like the chocolate one, too. Quite frankly, I had pretty low expectations coming in with this one. It was a dollar at Dollar Tree, so super affordable. Um, from a gimmick standpoint, to make a banana split gumball mix, I think it was pretty interesting. So I'm going to give it a seven and a half for the gimmick. Uh, and for the taste, fifth place on today's Capsule Countdown and a 5 out of 10, uh, which is exceeding expectations. Mm -hmm. So that brings us to the second half of the CTC Lightning Round here, the top half. And this time we have got, now Lucky Charms treats are not new, but Lucky Charms treats with more unicorns mm. is new. Three different unicorn designs, just like in the current boxes of Lucky Charm cereal. Of course, we have a long history oh. here with unicorns and covering basically every unicorn product that's come out in the last two years, which is a lot. And, uh, you know, I wasn't going to review Lucky Charm cereal that just had different shaped marshmallows, but I had never actually tried Lucky Charm treats before. Uh, pretty tough to tell you got unicorns hiding in there, but they are in there. Mm. That's a unicorn That's right a unicorn. there. That is. Just trust me on that one. Mm. Uh, on the bottom side, you've got just a layer of straight sugar. It's kind of like those old milk and cereal bar right. style, but it's just more like just straight right sugar. Nothing like milk whatsoever. But, man, when you bite in, you really get a lot of familiar Lucky Charm taste. You get that good, gooey, marshmallowy taste. The the line of like vanilla-y sugar on the bottom does kind of ruin it a little bit, and that's why it didn't place even higher. As far as the gimmick goes, oh, by the way, I, I got these at uh, Target as well. They're $2.99 um, for the 8-bar pack. Now, um, I, like, I like unicorns, obviously, you know, so... Uh, well, I'll give it a 6 Obviously. out of 10. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. <laughs> um, but, uh, man, oh, man. Taste-wise, I'll give it a five and a half. Fourth mm. place on today's Capsule Countdown. It's a bit too sweet. You take off that bottom layer of, of like, just straight sugar, mm -hmm. and that's at least a point higher. I agree. Uh, you know, maybe more. Maybe maybe a 7, 7.5 out of 10 without that. But we, but we got we to gotta score it as they come, so... 
That's uh, the way that it crumbles there. So, top three bronze medal going to Laffy Taffy Tropical Variety. So, we got half guava and half pineapple Laffy Taffy. Um, the joke that I had was, what do you call a drawer uh, that takes pictures of itself? Mm, don't know. A shelfie. Oh, that's so, good. So, <laughs> I don't know. Our drawer shelves, but whatever. Uh, so here are the actual uh, pieces. Yeah. That's uh, what they look like. I got them for a dollar at uh, Dollar Tree. A lot of Dollar Tree entries this time. So I'm trying to save money now that I'm spending like an average of $40 now that I'm reviewing eight products at once. <laughs> uh, why couldn't the burrito finish dinner? It was stuffed. Uh, how do you say hi to the mariachi after his show? At the meet and greedo. Yeah, I don't even get it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, the pineapple flavor was pretty good, but definitely the guava was the star between the two. I know, Ryan, you uh, seem to agree pretty handily with that assessment, and uh, definitely I'm going to eat up the guava ones first. Uh, pineapple, a little bit on the sweet side, but uh, the guava was perfect, literally perfect. Probably some of the best Laffy Taffy out there, so um, overall... Uh, the gimmick grade, look, it's just tropical Laffy Taffy, so it's really not much of a gimmick. I guess a 2 out of 10, mm -hmm. but for the taste, third place on today's Capsule Countdown, and uh, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty nice. good. Pretty darn good. Most of that's coming from that guava, though. <laughs> Guavas are good. Guavas are good, and guava Laffy Taffy, mm -hmm. also good. All right, so Bubble Fruit coming up in the world. So sorry you didn't get first place, but you did get second place. I mean, it had a, it had a, what it, what would that be? Like a 38% chance of winning? <laughs> and it didn't take it. But Pear Berry Pomegranate, definitely their strongest flavor. It's not even remotely close. Of course, we've already said it's two bucks a target, and the gamut grade is an eight out of 10. But I'm also giving an 8 out of 10 to the taste of this particular flavor. The pears are literally perfect for that intense fruit juice mm -hmm. that they put in there. They don't get soggy. They still have a still a little solid, even a little crunchy. Um, in mixing with that popping boba, you're now starting to get more of like a dual sensory experience. And it tastes great. I think that you could actually taste all of the different flavor elements here where the other two are lacking in specific labeled flavors. This one, you taste the pear, you taste the berry, you taste the pomegranate, and they all taste great. So eight out of 10, second place on today's Capsule Countdown, and definitely my highest recommendation if you're gonna go out and pick up Del Monte Bubble Fruit. And that leaves first place. Haribo. Hey. So these are the watermelon Haribo gummies. Those are good. They are, um, they're covered in the sour sugar. And they're pretty darn good. And Ryan's not a big gummy guy or a big watermelon guy. And he was the one who was like, this is definitely first. So Great very touch. impressive. I mean, nothing has better texture in gummy than Haribo. You know, these are a little, they're actually a bit softer than the Gold Bears, uh, but really, really good. I wouldn't quite put it at that, like, Frogs level or Happy Cola level, but it's way up there. Really, really good. Eight and a half out of ten, first place on today's Capsule Countdown. It's not really much of a gimmick. It's just slices of watermelon, but eh, I don't know. Two out of ten, I guess, for the, for the gimmick. It's really nothing. Beautiful bag. It is a good-looking bag, so we'll, we'll give them a two and a half. Yeah. But uh, it's really all about the taste. Eight and a half and first place on today's Capsule Countdown. A great tasting product. All right, so this is a big one. Since it's number 10, I'm going to do one of the more interesting products in my collection and a t-shirt representation of it as well. So it is the 1990 Coca-Cola Magic Can. Magic Can. Mm. <laughs> Promotion where for a summer they were supposed to make 
750,000 of these cans that were supposed to like release rolled up money. Mm. Like from like all it was like a uh, dollar bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills and then they would give you like certificates for like higher value stuff and other prizes. After 3 weeks, people were drinking the liquid that is inside the can. It's not Coca-Cola. <laughs> So it looks like a normal Coca-Cola classic can. This is a winning can. But there's a spring-loaded mechanism that's supposed to shoot money out at you when you win. And it's actually filled with a chlorine water with, like, extra additives to make it taste super, super, super bad. Mm -hmm. And people were accidentally drinking it and kids were drinking it. And um, basically, it was just a complete disaster. It really seemed like lawsuits were going to start coming because people would drink it. They'd end up going to the hospital to get checked out. And apparently, the thing about the Magic Can juice inside is it was non-toxic, but it was just really freaking people out. So they pulled them after three weeks of the campaign, which is an extremely, extremely short campaign. So not a ton of cans ended up making it out into circulation. That said, the only ones that I'm aware of that actually had money inside and not certificates, no matter what the dollar value, are the ones that they sent to the press. I have a winning ticket right here right now, and I'll show you what it looks like. It says I won $5. This should be a $5 bill, right? I would think so. But nope, it is actually just a rolled up little certificate that you send in and uh, basically there's a address on the back and that's it. Didn't it say on that bullet, it said do not drink something? Yeah, it does. So there's a warning. It says uh, for price purposes only, do not puncture can, do not drink contents, does not contain Coca-Cola Classic, not intended for use by children under 10. So they're really, really careful with their warnings. But look, they were getting absolutely stomped that summer, promotionally speaking, by Pepsi with their uh, their cool cans, you know, like the Pepsi Sex can, yep. you know. So you gotta love you gotta love 1990 and soda. But um, yeah, unfortunately, this never even made it to the summer. It was just uh, three weeks in the spring of 1990 and got discontinued. But uh, definitely one of my favorite cans in my collection. One I get a lot of questions about. So. Why, why did they put the liquid in just to... They put the liquid in, I think, just because they, they just didn't want, uh, like, the Coca-Cola to, like, maybe engulf the little thing and have people drink their money or their prize or something. I guess if you knew it was absolutely repugnant in smell and also maybe very basic taste, you would know that you actually won a prize. Mm. I don't know. I mean, look... Quite frankly, the whole thing is it wasn't a super well thought out promotion and that's why it was pulled after only three weeks. Mm. Um, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed a uh, look into the Consumer Time Capsule Vault in the last 10 versions of the uh, CDC Lightning Round. Ryan, I think we're going to keep on doing this. Oh, it's yeah. pretty fun. So uh, every Friday we'll be back with another Lightning Round plus CTC reviews and full length VHS features every single week. So. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. And until next time, of course, I will miss you until I see you. I'm going to drink it. I don't care what the label uh. says. No, it's, it's like hardened now. <laughs> Cheers.